Welcome to Gardening with Miss Chris. You're a Metro Urban Gardener. Learn to grow your own veggies from your front yard, side yard, backyard, and even from your windowsill. A pantry with the freshest organic vegetables, delicious, and packed with nutrients right outside your door. It's fun and easier than you think. So spend some time with Miss Chris and let's put our ear to the earth and learn the basics. Grow your own veggies and fruit year round. Today is a great day for planting sweet potatoes. Number one, it's not too hot today. It's cloudy. In my area, I'll be getting rain for the next two days, so that's a big help, saving a little work. The lowest temp of the day is uh, 70, and pe sweet potatoes love 65 to degrees or higher for soil temperature. Um, I found a great spot. It's on, this is a slope in my backyard. And that way, the sweet potato plants really don't need to be trellised because they are a vine. And they can get as long as 10 feet, depending on how good your soil is. And so this way, when I put them in, they can just trellis right down the slope and they'll get plenty of sun. And uh, the, this is just a good sunny spot here. The soil has been, um, um, over the years, it has been made into good garden soil with all the leaves and the compost. Every year I build this soil up. Normally this is where I plant cutting flowers. But this year, instead of me putting my sweet potato on, on a trellis, I'm going to put these right here in the ground and use my trellis for something else. All right. So we're going to take this vining plant. Let me pick one out. These slips I started back in um, March. Let me find a nice one. Okay. Now what makes a nice slip is you have a root system that's already established. And you want to have at least two nodules that you can plant in the ground. And I have one, two, three, four here. Because you want to put this in at least four inches deep. And so I'm going to put this one in till about right up to here. Let's see. Let me move these leaves back. You want your sweet potato plants to be planted about 18 inches apart. Give them plenty of room because they're going to form potatoes within a, a, a 9 to 10 inch parameter around your plant. So I'm going to dig a 4, maybe a 5 inch hole here. All right. And I like to use bone meal whenever I plant any type of root vegetable or tuber. And sweet potatoes are not really true tubers, but they are what you call a root tuber. Because they form tubers off of the roots of the plant. So I'm putting about one eighth to, um, let's say about a fourth cup of bone meal in the bottom of the hole. And bone meal is just grounded up bone. It's organic matter. It will not hurt the plant. Let's put it in. Make sure you're all the way to the bottom. Fill it back in. And reapply the leaf mulch I have around it. So the weeds won't grow up and it can retain the, help retain the soil moisture. And that's all it takes. So in about 90 to 120 days, this area will be just prostrated with sweet potato vines. And the leaves, the sweet potato vines will be on top of these leaves. So I don't have to worry about them touching the ground. Because if they touch the ground, they'll form little bitty sweet potatoes. And which will take the energy away from my main crop. So every now and then I do come and lift them up to make sure that they're not touching, the vines are not touching the ground. Another thing you can do is to grow them up a trellis because the sweet potato leaves are edible. You can eat them in salads, you can saute them, and I might grow some, I haven't decided. 
I got so many I got so many tomatoes and things I'm running out of trellis space. I might grow one of the trellis just for the, the leaves. And so um that's all it takes. So we just put our earth our, our ear to the earth and we're learning the basics.